members of the fourth estate, religious leaders, members from the county government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. As you are aware, the coronavirus pandemic continues to wreak havoc globally and in our country. As at yesterday, according to uh, Ministry of Health in Nairobi, 18th April 2020, the infected cases in our country stands at 262 with 60 recoveries and 12 deaths <coughs> spread over 13 counties. The disease has not spared our neighboring county of Mandera, where six cases, two of the recent travel from Kilifi and uh, four of the contacts that are now uh, recuperating in Mandera County Referral Hospital. Despite having no access in our county, we are aware of the dangers posed by the pandemic and consequently, we are not leaving anything to chance. In this regard, we have uh, intercepted uh, quarantine and taken samples to National Public Health Laboratory, which has since turned negative. Further, we have received two technical staff from the National Public Health Laboratory with startup kits. With this and the capacity building that will be going along with it. We shall soon be able to test for COVID-19 at our regional laboratory. As you are aware, that this regional laboratory has the capacity to test and determine who is having the disease and who is not having. It is the only a laboratory in the whole of northern Kenya. So I would like to inform the members of public, particularly those who are coming from northern Kenya, Wajia, Garissa, Mandera, Isiolo, Marsebit, uh, even Somalia. They can come and uh, uh, bring their samples to be tested instead of going to Nairobi. We are cur currently pursuing implementation of the national guidelines, county-specific directives, and occasional advisories from the Ministry of Health. Some of the interventions have neg negatively impacted the local economy, thereby increasing the vulnerability within the society. The closure of mosques, madrasas, and duxes, that is the Quran schools, so as to enforce the recommended protocols, has made our madrasa teachers, imams, and their families livelihoods disrupted, thereby requiring urgent interventions, especially as we usher in the month of the Holy Ramadan. As a startup by my government in partnership with other well wishers, will donate 400 bags of rice. You can see the rice there, it's loaded uh, in this vehicle. And uh, 1,000 must have 
you can see the Mus'haf here to the Islamic teachers, the duxes, mosques, and imams. I therefore wish to take this opportunity to sincerely thank our brothers and sisters who have made this donation, the food and the mushafs. The beneficiaries of the food is targeting 450 Quran or Duxi teachers in Wajia town who used to depend on the fees from the students. Of course, these are not, uh, uh, you know, fees has been waived in primary and secondary schools and even in the nursery. But the Duxis, we have no control. They have been paid. So these teachers were, uh, were, were depending on the small fees coming from the students. And because schools now have closed, the children are not paying anything. So as a result, these 450 teachers in Wajia town alone are really suffering, along with many other uh, Wajia people. So the county uh, has now decided to come in and start donating this uh, food, these uh, 400 bags of uh, rice to these teachers. And uh, the teachers are represented by the Muslim leadership here and the other ulumas who are you, you can see around. They are representing uh, the duxes. The county had an active uh, invasion of desert locusts since 29th December 2019 and in security incidences in parts of Wajia East and Tarwat. That led to the regrettable loss of six police reservists in the brutal hands of Al-Shabaab. With these and other challenges, we shall continue to do our best to provide the necessary interventions. Wajia is the regional base of Wajia uh, and Mandera counties in the control of locust invasion. And this is a measure of our readiness and willingness to combat any disaster once it strikes our borders. I therefore wish to take this opportunity to thank the county government, departments of health and agriculture, the national government, and all the partners for being at the forefront in the fight against both locust invasion and the COVID pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where they are ladies. On a related matter, my government through the Department of Special Programs had distributed some few months ago 678 metric tons of rice, uh, 638 metric tons of sifted maize meal, and 88.9 metric tons of cooking oil to support over 100,000 households in the 30 wards in 300 food distribution centers. We intend to procure more food to distribute to the poor population in the county in the wake of the COVID pandemic and the resultant effects of loss of livelihoods and the disruption of the economy. Out of the food mentioned above, Madrasas and Duxi teachers, orphanage homes, 
received a total of 530 uh, bags of rice, each being 25 kilograms, 660 bells of ugali of 24 kilos each. That is the food that I've just mentioned. We appeal for more support from all well-wishers and partners uh, during this holy month of Ramadan, as has been the tradition. Finally, we urge all of you to keep on embracing the recommended social distance, washing hands with soap and, and uh, sanitizers, wearing uh, face masks at public gatherings, and above all, staying at home when there is no work to be done. I also wish to thank the Ulumas in Wajia County under the leadership of Sukkim for educating the public on the dangers of this epidemic. Thank you very much and continue staying at home.